Hello. Did you know that a piece of cardboard can be a paintbrush? It can. There are hundreds of ways to put paint on a piece of paper, besides just taking your brush and making a nice neat brush stroke. Today, we're gonna take a look at all the experimental painting techniques we can think of, including using cardboard, rags, putting paint on the paper, taking paint off the paper. Let's get started. Our first painting technique is called a wash, and it involves taking paint and water and spreading it very thin over the paper. And we've practiced this one before, but let's get fancy. Let's use two colors of washes and blend them together to create a gradient, an ombre, a sunset. That's a gradient. Sometimes you get too much paint down on the paper and you can take your rag and wipe the extra water and paint away. This will also help blend your paints together to get that nice smooth gradient look. Wiping your paper with your rag is a very useful paint technique. Don't forget about that one. Now, let's start with the basics, like a brush stroke. You can make long, wide brush strokes. You can make skinny brush strokes. You can make thick, globby brush strokes, or a thin layer of paint, faded brush strokes. You can use your mark making techniques. Anything that you do with your pencil, you can also do with your brush. One of the coolest type of brush strokes is to take a large flat brush with a little bit of paint on its bristles and drag it across the page, twisting and curving it as you go. This will create a textured brush stroke that is mesmerizing. You can get similar cool looking brush strokes with a large round brush as well. But you don't always have to paint in brush strokes. You can take the end of a brush and just dab it onto the paper to create little dots. This is called stippling. You can do it with large brushes as well. Another brush stroke technique is to take the paintbrush and dab it, but leave it on the page and then spin it to create a little spinny circle. You can move the circle as you go to create kind of a loop-de-loop -loop, um, spiral tornado pattern. Just spin and slide the brush. This next technique involves taking half of your brush with one color and the other half with another color you get a half and half brush stroke. Drag, vibrate, curve that brush as it goes across the page and you'll end up with this really cool instant gradient brush stroke. Speaking of gradients, you can fade one patch of color into another by having it be thick and then gradually thinning it out and the thinner layer fades into the other color. Then you can go back and get a bit of the original color and fade that in as well. Voila. You can lay down big, thick globs of paint and get kind of messy and crazy. And the globs themselves may look cool, but what may look even better is to take a piece of cardboard and scrape across the thick, globby parts of your painting to create a scraped texture. Another thing you can do to the thick, globby parts of your painting is take the back of a brush and draw into it. You can also paint with your rag by stamping it into some paint and then sponging it onto the surface of your painting to create nice, soft, cloudy, spongy textures. You can also do this with a crumpled up piece of paper or a paper towel to get a slightly more angular, rougher texture instead of so soft and cloudy. You can press a piece of paper down onto any thicker, globby areas of your painting and peel it up to get a pressed, squashed texture. Now I've used a lot of techniques. It's okay to go back in and repeat some of the ones. I wanna go back in and repeat some thinner brush strokes, some stippling. I wanna make some more half and half brush strokes across the bottom there. Remember, repetition is key in abstract paintings. I'm using these techniques to improve the look of my painting, but there's still one technique that I've left off. Splatter, of course. And there you have a 
finished abstract painting that uses so many techniques to create eye-catching designs, patterns, textures. Now it's your turn. Let's do it.